guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Seasons. It's early Tuesday morning, and Maisie is in here hanging out with her new baby brother, Lucas, who we introduced last part. I'm really excited to have another kid in the house, another Sim in the house, our first little boy, other than Claude the Cat, of course. And he looks like he's kind of upset. So we're going to have one of the mamas come in here and uh, feed him when she gets out of the shower. Uh, I'm assuming that's what he needs, but I don't really know for sure. But Maisie looks like she is going off to school. I don't think she did her homework, though. Oh, maybe she did. Did you do your homework? She did. I'm proud of her. Okay, cool. So she's off to school. And when she gets home, I think we'll work on some more scouting stuff for her. Oh, he actually has a dirty diaper and there's dirty clothes everywhere. Like, who left their clothes in here? Was that Maisie? It must have been. I'm just going to move that into her room for now. And we're going to go ahead and feed him and change his dirty diaper and just make sure he is doing okay. Poppy's at work and we just got this gross overproduction. The greenhouse nursery at Poppy's job is a little too nurturing. The new sprouts have quickly grown out of control and taken over the space. How does she handle these rampant plants? Hack them into submission or toss more fertilizer, fertilizer onto the forest? We're going to do more fertilizer. Oh no, it's a loss. Uh, let's see why. Poppy figures there's no such thing as too nurturing, decides to throw more fertilizer on the nursery. The nursery plants begin to grow out of control. Envelope enveloping the space fully with the plants tangling as they grow the nursery plants can no longer be salvaged when poppy's boss heard about what she had done her boss decided to make the punishment fit the crime by making poppy clear out and replant the entire nursery by hand Ooh, that is not good okay well we tried uh she's still kind of on the way to a promotion so we'll see what happens uh because we already have level four the gardening skill what skill level does she actually is it level four yeah it is okay and we're halfway there so she's doing pretty good uh we'll have plenty to harvest out here it looks like and we gotta water some stuff too i mean i guess i could have uh tegan come and water some stuff that wouldn't hurt anything i mean it would just get away a little bit of gardening skill gains that we could get with poppy but at least the plants will be watered uh, so that is good. We're going to do that real quick. And she's hungry, so we're going to have to make some food. Oh my goodness, she doesn't have work for four days, so e. Uh, she's on her way to a promotion, though. We'll just have her keep practicing um, preparing mixed drinks. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and cook something. It is 9 a.m., so what's a good 9 a.m. food? Um, Cheese eyeballs. That's a good morning food. Uh, I, I just... I guess pancakes works. Let's just do a single serving because I feel like we have too much food that's always going bad. Oh, she's still watering stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, our carrots. I forgot about our carrots. Are they dormant right now or are they dead? Uh, they're in season right now. It doesn't, it's like purple leaves. Like that doesn't look right. Um, okay. But <laughs> that's fine. But we're going to go ahead and do that and make our pancakes. Geek cons in town. I don't think we're too interested in that. I feel like none of my sims ever are. One of these days I'm going to have a sim that goes finally because I feel like I never do. Uh, but looks like everything's in order. Oh, he probably needs food. He's not very happy right now. So we're going to fill up that bowl. Uh, fill the bowl. And then I do kind of want them to hang out with some people. They did make some friends recently. Um, but at the same time, we just had this baby boy enter the household and I don't want him to be too overwhelmed. And, uh, he's, the babies are usually not babies too long, so he might even become a toddler this part. I'm not sure. What did I say? It's almost Lucas's birthday. Of course. Of course. You have the baby for a day, uh, and then it's their birthday. Poppy is expected at work for next shift after her family leave. She didn't really take that. Like, she's at work right now. Um, but okay. Oh gosh, and Santa won't stop calling me. <laughs> we gotta clean up the hair as well. I don't know if he was hungry or just needed attention, but we're giving him both everything our little baby needs. He's so sad and crying so much. Oh my goodness. It's okay, little guy. You're gonna be okay, I promise. <laughs> okay, let's go over here and clean these up. Promoted to leaf cutter! Even though she had not the best day at work, she got promoted anyway because she's that amazing. Uh, she'll now make an additional $2 per hour for, for a grand total of 24, 25 simoleons, a 500 simoleon bonus, the farmer flowers and fruit, the sprinkle o 2000, and the number one mom? Well, they can't, why does she get a number one mom? I mean, she, I mean, she's a good mom, but like, 
That seems really random. Also, we have a wolf eel in our inventory. That's kind of strange. Okay, I want to see this number one mom. <laughs> Wall decal. Like, what is that? I'm very intrigued. I don't see it. I don't see it. Where where are these items showing up? Because I, I don't see that. Unless this is... Oh, it's... The tree is the, called the number one mom. That is strange. And then we got a sprinkler, which we already have. So I'm just going to sell both of those. Got a little bit of extra money that way. Uh, and we just got farmers, flowers, and fruits. That's cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and open the seed packet and see if we get anything good in there. Uh, oh, look at her little outfit she came home in. Oh my god, she is so cute. Oh my god, Poppy. Look at her. I love her outfit. It's so cute. It's garden. Look at the leaves and the gloves. Oh, this is just so incredibly adorable. And I'm so excited to have her do some more gardening. Especially because it's summer now. Uh, I feel like summer and fall, she can do more outdoor gardening. So we're going to come on over here and we're going to evolve this. Oh my god, look at that animation. Is that new? I think that's new. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and harvest. I feel like it's meant to be. We've come across this dog again. This is that stray Rottweiler who I find completely adorable. Although she has fleas, I feel like it was meant to be. I know I mentioned that, I think, last part. And a couple of you guys said that we should either adopt her or adopt a Rottweiler in general. So I'm going to go say hi. Let's stop harvest. Oh my gosh, we're getting attacked by bees. They're like, no, we are your only pets other than Claude. Uh, we're going to try and go talk to her. Oh gosh, smelly smelly kitty litter do you want to come in here and clean that out uh we have a dog to go talk to uh grades are up yay we are now a b student good job measy do your homework again so you can keep getting that grade up is she gonna go see the dog or like what are you why are you just standing there i want to see the pupper uh but I, I have a feeling now that that's not happening yeah she just kind of reset oh we have clothes hanging out here uh I didn't know those were out there, but that's cool. We'll go ahead and get these and put them away. I love the animations on this. I feel like it's so nice. Like, oh, look at her little outfit and she's putting away the laundry. I don't know why. This is just so cool that we have all of these different things in The Sims to make your game so much more realistic. I love that. All right, where are you doing your homework at the kitchen table? Good, oh, she's real smelly. Maybe she should take a shower. <laughs> first why don't you go do that and then you can finish your homework that's fine with me little girl oh we're getting a phone call oh i don't want to join your club but like we should hang out sometime like we definitely need to get out of the house more but i also feel like they're both so busy that it's kind of hard to have um, other things going on we managed for new year's eve but right now we just have a new baby in the house and uh you know the craziness of everything else going on and I'm so sad that that Roddy got away from us I wanted to meet her and maybe adopt her if we got to know her pretty well I'm pretty sure I can invite her over which is really weird but she'll show up as just a dog not like as a stray dog usually that's how that happens and it's, I also find it strange that you can call a dog like on the phone and they'll show up at your house it's just strange to me I mean it's convenient so here she is and she's no longer stray when you do it that way so yeah, we're gonna pet her and see how she is. Oh, she's just in our house. Okay, well, hello. Hello, beautiful girl. Uh, doesn't look like she has fleas right now, although she does look dirty. Like, she really needs a bath. Hello. Oh my god, she's so cute. I want a dog so bad. Ugh, I miss having Roddy's. I've had so many of them, and I just... They're my favorite dogs of all time. Let's give her a bath. Yeah, we'll become friends with her, give her a bath. Make her feel like we really care about her and maybe sometime when she shows up as a stray uh, in our neighborhood, we will see if we can adopt her. But for right now, gosh, there's just a mess everywhere. Do we not have a hamper anywhere that we can fill up? I could have sworn I put, oh, they're full. That's why. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> All right. You are, you don't need to be sleeping. Let's do, add some stuff to the washer, please. That would be nice while we give this doggo a bath. Um, I love how we're like, we just had a baby. Let's also get this dog. But she is super cute. I, I just really, I, I, I want her so bad. I haven't had a Roddy in any of my save files yet. And um, I feel like we should change that. Why are you playing with the cat? I asked you to put the laundry in. <laughs> She's like, no, I want to play with the kitty. All right, let's go ahead and... Add to washing machine, please. 
please stop playing with the cat. She's like, no, I can't get to it. Okay, why can't she get to it? I understand if she can't get to the one behind it, but like, why can't she get to the front one? Let's move this over as much as it can be. All right, there's that. I don't even have move objects on and those can be placed. So she should be able to get to these just fine. Add to washing machine. Are you coming down here? Please stop playing with the cat. I think she's finally coming. Okay. It was just she couldn't get to them. It just seemed weird. Where are you going? Oh, she's getting the clothes from the rest of the house. I was just like, where are you putting all of that dirt? Oh, she, now she put it here. Great. Uh, add to washer. Please. Please go put that in the wash. <laughs> I don't know why that was such a hassle. We're going to also add this to the wash. Cool, cool, cool. And now we can wash laundry. Yay. All right, there's, ooh, we can upgrade. <laughs> Lintless, Whisper Quiet, Tungsten Drum, or Speed Cycle. We can't upgrade anything yet. And now we're tired. It's eight o'clock. We can wait a little bit until we go to bed, though. Uh, we don't need to be asleep just yet. Did you finish your homework, young lady? I know you're already in bed, but did you finish your homework? No, you didn't. Please get up. Uh, you also need to go to the bathroom and eat and all kinds of things. <laughs> So let's get all of your stuff done. Uh, let's check in on the baby. I know it said his birthday soon. I don't know if that meant we had to do it today. Uh, I don't think so. I think it just said it was almost his birthday. So we're gonna just go with that. And uh, we're just gonna rock him a little bit. Make sure he's doing a-okay. And I think on Wednesday we'll age him up. That makes sense to me. Oh, he's so cute. I, I wonder what he's going to look like when he's older, though. Because we have literally no idea. Because all the babies look the same in the game. So I have no idea what little Lucas is going to look like. But I'm excited to find out. Uh, I think that's the really fun thing about adopting in the game. Is you have absolutely no idea if you get them as a baby. Or even, like, uh, in-game when you get a baby. Like, in my Parenthood Let's Play. Uh, Amber's son, like, looks nothing <laughs> like I thought he was going to. So that's that's always a fun time because they don't look the same toddler to like babies just look nothing like the rest of the um age groups because they're just objects in the game so that's kind of weird but that's okay oh no he needs his mommy okay i think everyone's good to go to bed now and finally get some sleep poppy has to leave for work soon but i'm gonna have her quickly go to the bathroom and sell a bunch of these snapdragons and then she's gonna head off to work she does not have what she needs to get another promotion, but that's okay. We will be there soon with her levels of gardening. Uh, Claude's upset. I bet that's because he's out of food again. Because I feel like he, my cat is... Oh, he has food right there. Never mind. Uh, is his litter box disgusting? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Let's wake up Tegan because she still doesn't have work for three days. And clean this litter box. She also has to go to the bathroom as well. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I guess we're going to repair that because I'm not paying 900 simoleons to fix it. Although I'll have her repair it later because she also really needs to go to the bathroom. Perfect, perfect. And we're going to be aging up little Lucas today. Uh, I think it might be well Poppy's still at work though. No, maybe not. She gets home at 2 o'clock. That's not bad at all. I love how as soon as we cleaned it, he's back in there dirtying it up. Look at this. I literally just cleaned that. Oh, not you. You come in here, clean this. <laughs> he couldn't wait until I cleaned it for him. Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. Uh, but that's also just realistic. My cat does that too. The second I clean it, he's just like, ooh, what are you doing in there? What are you doing in my sandbox? Can I watch? <laughs> Why must you collect my poop, mommy? Um, <laughs> that's what I think my cat thinks, and I think it's really funny. All right, she's off to school. Cool, cool, cool. Uh so we just got to do that. Also, I realized I mistakenly said that it was summer earlier. It's actually spring and then love day is on Friday. So I think next part we're going to be doing something for love day. Unfortunately, it's supposed to rain. So that kind of sucks. Uh, and then the following week, it'll be summer. We have the new skill day, which is all about skill improvement, followed by, you know, summer with some more rain and thunderstorms, which is accurate. It's been thunderstorming for like three weeks where I live and it's just kind of obnoxious uh like I'm not all about the heat in summer anyway and it's just been really humid followed by tons of rain and then as soon as it stops raining it's incredibly humid again so I can relate to the weather forecast they're having all right what are you gonna make for, oh leftover macaroni and cheese sounds about right oh no what is wrong with Lucas Lucas it's okay it's okay we love you we love you so much 
<laughs> we're gonna make sure you're okay, and we're gonna turn you into a toddler later, aka age you up. It'll be your birthday. Uh, surprise birthday. Change dirty diaper. We're gonna need to do that. Oh, yes, yes, I know. Yeah, I know, I know. Shaking you and, like, rocking you around like that is not gonna help when you have a stinky diaper. All right. We're just gonna talk to you and cuddle you a little bit, and, uh, then she's just gonna kind of clean up the house and take care of her own needs and stuff for the day, and, you know, try and repair a toilet, which is not something she has <laughs> experience in, so this should be a fun endeavor. Oh, no. Did they just have a negative interaction? That's kind of awkward. Um, like, you're, you were just adopted by us, and we give you nothing but love and food, so, um, Hopefully, we have a decent relationship with our son. Uh, so we're just going to try and fix this. And then when Poppy gets home, we're going to have a little birthday. There's nothing more beautiful than a stinky, rotten pile of leaves in the middle of spring. They survived through the winter into the spring, and they're still sitting here rotting. That's a, <laughs> that's a thing that I was really hoping hoping that's a good word um, <laughs> hoping wasn't going to be a problem in the sims 4 like it was in the sims 3 because that was the thing that annoyed me most about seasons but here we are uh, i was coming over here to be like look at how pretty the water looks i can't wait until lucas is a little older and maybe we could bring him out fishing actually i think Maisie would like that and it'd be a really good scouting activity because this is right behind our house and it's gorgeous but we just got that pop-up saying it's lucas's birthday the time certainly does fly yes it does Oh my gosh. Okay, hopefully Poppy gets home in time because I don't want him to age up before she gets home, but it's a possibility. So let's go up here. So at least if it happens without us telling it to, we'll be up here. She should be getting home now-ish, right? Yes. Uh, she brought home 175 simoleons. Let's go up here and celebrate because we can't really throw him a birthday party or get him a cake or anything. We just have to go ahead and age him up because they're objects and that's just kind of how that works. Oh, he's gone. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my, what is going on? Why am I down here? Okay, I'm confused. My game's so glitchy lately. Oh, okay, Lucas aged up. All right, I think we're gonna make a Lucas clingy. What is he wearing on his head? Look at his hat. Oh my gosh, what does he look like? Oh, he's an interesting looking baby. He's looking at us real confused. Like, excuse me, who are you? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Why did we put him back inside of his bassinet? Oh, he looks so scared and derpy. I mean, I would too if, like, I was somehow morphing with a bassinet. Like, but he's actually so cute. He is such a cute toddler. Oh my god. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm so excited for this. We're gonna have to bring him into Creative Sim and see what he looks like. Looks like we got a little bit of heterochromia going on here. I don't think I'm gonna keep that, though, because it's not the eyes I typically use. Uh, so let's go ahead and it looks like he has like a brownish color eye. Uh, maybe we'll do like these ones. And then I'll just take off the accessory wherever it is. I think it's a, uh, yeah, skin detail. Oh, he is so cute. I hope he's cute when he's older too. But like he is very, very cute. Look at all our eyebrow options. Let's switch those up. What a cute little boy. Oh, he's like wearing a jersey. Oh, he is so cute. I don't know what they would dress him like. I mean, I guess that's up to us. We can dress him however we want. What would little Lucas, would he wear a little bear cousin or kitty? <gasps> Owl, fox, oh my goodness. I think we might put him in this little kitty. Or is it a bunny? <gasps> it's a bunny. Yes, okay. I thought it was a cat, but then I saw that. It's a bunny. We're gonna be a bunny. That is exciting. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, uh, I think you just have a little pair of jeans. That's really cute. And I guess some little shoesies to go with that. Cool. Uh, oh my gosh, he looks like so intelligent. Uh, let's give him just a little suit for his formal wear. Those shoes are fine. I don't think you need those glasses, little boy. Uh, let's see, sleepwear is gonna be important because he's gonna be in the sleepwear a lot. Um, I mean, I, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Oh, I, I kind of like the theme we have of like giving him all these little animal outfits. They're really cute. And like kids love stuffed animals. So I think that's what we're gonna do with those yellow pants. That goes pretty well. He doesn't need socks to sleep in. Uh, party attire. Mm, I guess he could have some funky colored pants and give him bright red pants. I don't know about that. Maybe like a purple or something. I feel like I would just have so much fun dressing a child. <laughs> Uh, for a party, he can have his cape. Oh, yes. The green one with the purple. That is so cute. Okay. I like that. 
uh, some like little rainbow shoes or like, cause I thought these were gonna be purple, but they're rainbow, but they have purple on them. So I feel like that matches. Uh, a little bathing suit. Do they have bathing suits for our toddlers? No, they just have diapers. Or, oh, they have these. Oh, this is cute. <gasps> that is his little swimwear. I like that. Or you could have like a little scoop outfit. I don't want him to have that though. His hot weather outfit. We got, he's a, he already dressed himself in the theme we had. Cute colors, cute animals. That's, that's totally fine for a cold weather, or uh, hot weather. Cold weather? I mean, this isn't too bad. I'll just, I think I'm just gonna change the pants, although they're like snow pants. That kind of makes sense. Uh, I just feel like he's a little bit more stylish. Uh, does he want his rain boots or no? I feel like he needs like winter boots for winter situations. Yeah, I think that is pretty good. I think that's gonna be Lucas. Oh, he's so cute. I don't know if I should have this as his everyday thing though, cause then you can't see his hair, but it's really cute. So maybe we'll give him this little sweatshirt and stuff that has some cute animals on it. Oh, I actually really like the, the first one. Uh, maybe like a little blue or green one cause his room is very blue and green. I don't know. He's so cute. I love him so much. I think we're gonna go with one of, I think this one, that's a cute doggy on his shirt. I think he's an adorable toddler and I'm super excited to have him aged up so that we can explore this character more now that he's not just an object in a bassinet. I swapped out his bassinet for a toddler bed and we can of course update his room and all that stuff next time as well as celebrate Valentine's Day or Love Day and uh, continue to see this family grow. I do plan on having them leave the house a little bit more in the coming parts. If you guys have any ideas both for Love Day or anything in the future that involves more like the whole family or just maybe Maisie, uh, let me know and what you think about adopting that Roddy because she's so cute. Anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I go hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all soon. Bye everybody.